What's up guys? So today I'm going to be doing a real quick video on how to upgrade the OSD software on your Vortex 250 Pro. So the reason I'm making this video is I tried following the instructions and I actually ran into a problem that was with Immersion RC's website. So if you go to their website and scroll down on the home page, just straight up ImmersionRC.com, go down to the recent uploads and software releases, the Immersion RC tools and the Vortex OSD firmware, which are the two things you need to do this, are both actually out of date. I mean, there are updates for them, but that you can't get them from here. So then what you're gonna need to do is go to the page for the Vortex 250 Pro, and I'll put a link to this in, in the description so you don't have to hunt around and find it. You scroll down about almost all the way, and you get right here to specifications and support files. Then what you're gonna do is go to firmware and downloads, download the official firmware, at least in my case, the official one. You can do a beta. I'm not doing that because I don't want to screw with it if it's not official, just in case there's problems with it. I'll leave that to the developers and all the prototypers out there. And then go down here to the Immersion RC tools, download and install this, and then download this file, which will be a .fw. And once you have both of those, you're going to need to open up right here, the Immersion RC tools. And you'll know you'll have the right version because over here it will have an option for the Vortex slash Vortex 250 Pro. The older version actually only had an option for the old Vortex 285. And as soon as I saw that, I realized that that was a problem. And then I had to start hunting around to find the real version how to actually do this. So once you're on this page, what you need to do is connect the battery on your Vortex. All right. Trying to do this with one hand here. And yeah, once you update to the latest software version, not the one that comes with the Vortex, you'll be able to set that or the Imperial March as your startup tone. Then the next step is to plug in your USB cable. And for those of you who don't know where the USB port is on your Vortex, first of all, open your eyes. Second of all, it's right under the LED board, so just plug that in. And once it's plugged in, you'll hear your computer recognize it. Come over here and hit Read Settings from Vortex. It may take a second and give it a little spinning wheel. And then you'll hear a ding or whatever to let you know that it recognized it. Go up here to Program, Update Firmware, get your firmware file right here. And it's going to tell you it's going to start updating. And then once it says update completed, hit OK. And if you have your pair of goggles ready like I do, and you try to look through them, you'll notice, that, I know this is never ever gonna work, but you'll notice that there's no OSD. The reason this is, is if your USB cable is still plugged into your computer, the OSD will not open. So now once you remove the USB cable, let me see if I can actually get this to view. I really need to get a DVR. It's kind of hard to see, but the OSD is there. So now if you want to check, just power cycle it. Whenever you're doing upgrades on stuff, it's always been custom of mine to power cycle them, especially electronics that have main boards that are being updated. Okay, and then turn on my Tyrannus. Welcome to Open TX. Make sure my throttle's down. And another tip, make sure your props are off just in case something happens, you don't want to lose a finger. So whenever you're doing updates and stuff, clean flight, OSD, anything, just take your props off. It takes five seconds and it may save a finger or a laptop screen or, you know, whatever's around you. So now that my Tyrannus is on, now it's much easier to see here the OSD is on and then you'll be able to go in and change new settings and actually the release log comes with every firmware file which tells you what's new from the previous version so if you're curious what comes with it just take a look at that and that's it so under five minutes you'll be able to get the OSD updated and I'll catch you guys in the next video peace out